we got an interesting new little segment here, man. We've been crafting it up a little bit. And what we're calling it tonight is the round robin. And we, we basically what we're doing in the round robin segment, we got a random topic, right? Tonight's topic is movies. So I'm going to start. I'm going to list a movie. And the person to my left, we're going counterclockwise. The person to my left will have to name a movie that's better than the movie that I listed. And the other two panelists will be the judges. So I'm going to list a movie. Scruff's got to list a better movie. Gerardo's got to list a better movie after that. Then T Boogie's got to list a better movie. Let's we keep it going, on. man. Let's see, see how far we can get with this. So let's get it. Let's get it, man. And I'm not going to start with nothing too crazy, just so you know we can keep it. Uh, I don't want to make the game too challenging. So the first movie I'm going to start with, man, I'm going in my bag with a funny movie just because the second one just came out. I got to go with the first one. Coming to America, the original Coming to America, man. It's a classic, bro. If you haven't seen the original Coming to America, I haven't even seen the second one yet, so, you know, shame on me. But the original was such a classic. You got McDowell's. You got the barbershop scene. You got when my man was, my man had the little, the little uh, Section 8 apartment with the koozie and the joke. Hey, bro, what a movie. What a movie, man. I don't know, man. That's that's one of my one of my all-time classics. Scrub line, you're gonna have you're gonna have a challenge picking a better movie than that. Let's get it. That was tough, man. That is tough, but I got one that I think is a better movie. I don't know if y'all are gonna agree. It may not got the mainstream appeal, but the real ones know it's another Eddie Murphy movie, man. And it's Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights is definitely better than Coming to America. Harlem Nights is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, you got Richard Pryor, you got a young Eddie Murphy, like you really doesn't get no better than that. You got two goats in the same movie, and it's hilarious. And then you even got like so many, so many, so many nice pieces in that movie. They got a little, the little light skinned Joe Shorty, whose name Jasmine Guy. She was a thing back in the day, boy. But uh, yeah, that's one of my, that's one of my favorite movies. Um, Harlem Nights, baby. Hey, G, they put you in a tough spot, man. <laughs> I thought we were starting to bar low. Right? Well, I'm going to have to hit with the haymakers. Oh, he's gonna say wild. I'm at to do with, you. <laughs> I'm at to do with the haymaker. I'm at to do half bait. Hey, first no. movie. No, no. You ain't beating that. Not better than Harlem Nights. Hey, you stop. What? Stop. You talk. I love half bait though, man. I know where G's coming from, bro. I, I do love half bait. Half bait has classic scene. My man say, "Fuck you." Fuck you, hey, you, you're cool. Let me throw a patty at you. Wow. My man's, my man's just trying to sell dope, trying to sell some weed to get his partner out of jail for feeding a fucking horse so much food that it died. It's Dave Chappelle's first, first directed movie, like his first movie. You gonna tell bro. me that's not funnier than Harlem Nights? You're no, true, bro. They, but, all right, all right, okay, let's. I don't Dave Chappelle it. himself said that that movie was horrible. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. We just threw that thing together right before, right before we filmed." And it's a like, fucking cult classic. It is cult even classic. to this day, I watch it. Oh, Every yeah, four twenty, that's a must watch. Well, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a up the bar a little bit. I'm gonna go to Wedding Crashes. Vince Vaughn, Owen Wilson. Oh, okay. It's a you know what I'm saying? That's a legit better than Half Baked. What you got, bro? It seems like we done went away from the movie edition and we're going funny movie edition. So I'm going I'm to stick with the category in Jeopardy style. I'm sticking with the category, funny movies. I'm going with Don't Be a Menace in South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Man. <laughs> don't Be a Menace. Bro, don't Be a Menace might be the funniest movie of all time to me personally, man. Remember when he was, remember he, you, you had to, imagine reading a bedtime story to your pops. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so many, so many just random moments. Like he, my man was putting the hot sauce on Shorty's toes. Like, what, what is going on here, bro? Like, so much weird, so much weird stuff went on in that movie, bro. I, I can hear it now. But next time, Scruff, next time, Scruff, lying, going off all crazy about about Doc Rivers. I'm just gonna come out of nowhere and be like, message. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Every time somebody drop a gym, I'm just going message. <laughs> Don't be a menace, bro. Classic movie to me. To me, might be the funniest movie of all time. So, Don't Be a Menace is funnier than Wedding Crashes, Half Baked, Hall of Nights, and Coming to America. Ab absolutely, absolutely, bro. Funniest movie on the list so far. It's, until somebody beats it, Scrub Line is on you. Mm. 
What, what did you say? What, 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 what? I'm, 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 oh my god! My man just googled funniest movies of all time and tried to just talk to everybody. He's slick. He's hey, nah, 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 nah. I got, I got one. I got one. Forty year old virgin. I'm gonna throw out there. Um, I think that's one of the funnier movies of all time. My man, uh, my man Steve Carell. That was pretty classic, bro. Uh, that's tough though. Tough to beat what you what you do out there, Bryce. That was that was real tough. But forty year old version, bro, is all time classic, man. It's got some funny ass scenes. Um, that was actually the beginning of Steve Carell's like you know takeoff in his career. So I don't know if y'all gonna feel me on that, but I think forty year old no, version is a classic. No. This segment has fell off the rails. <laughs> I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan when it came out, but it, you know I'm not a fan of that type of humor, man. People love it, but it's not for me. Hey man, if you if you name a bad movie, you should just cut your camera off and go to bed. Like finish the show. <laughs> that's how we good, that's how we should end it, Joy. Jesus. I, uh, <laughs> I gotta we're gonna stick with the Wayne family. I'm gonna go with scary movie two. Ooh. My strong hand, grab my strong hand. <laughs> and then when he's <laughs> it's my strong hand. Who <laughs> I'm knitted with my fans. And then and then you got the other episode when Wayne starts fighting the pot and then he gets rolled and smoked on. Y'all remember that scene? Yeah. Like you're in the haunted house. And then That's the weed the tree comes movie, out of nowhere. Girls. And then Shorty started learning how to dance at the end of it. Nah, that's a classic. That's a classic. Man, hold, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna reset it because uh, the, the the comedy movies don't went crazy. I'm gonna reset it. I'm, I'm gonna pop it over to a different type of movie. I'm gonna go with um, the town with my man Ben Affleck. They robbing armored cars. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, right. Now, there you go. Name a better movie than the town. Oh, if we going robbery movies. I can definitely name a better a better movie than the town. Although. It's tough because the town is one of my favorite movies of all time. But it seemed like my man just switched to robbery movies. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Oceans. I'm gonna go with all the Oceans, man. Oceans Eleven, classic, bro. We talk about those, those 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 robbery movies, man. Oceans Eleven went so crazy, bro. Like I remember when they I can remember when they lowered my man into the right over to over top of the vault. Hey, crazy movie, man. I, I like Oceans 11, 12, 13. They all classics in my opinion. Those are, that's good, actually. I really enjoyed the Oceans movies. But I'm going to go with Inside Man. Uh, Denzel Washington, classic film. Um, shit, man. You talk about Denzel Washington, pretty much any movie that he's been in, for the most part, I'd say 80% of his movies are like all time greats. So, uh, Inside Man. Go ahead, top that, G. Ooh. What's my Queen Latifah movie? I can't even remember the oh, name of it. Set it off. Set it off. <laughs> set it off. There you go. I uh, 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 oh, y'all thought. There you go. Vice with the assist. There you go. Set that was it a off. great Queen movie. Queen Latifah and the girls when he start robbing up the joint. Yeah. All time classic. Set it off. You mean? But this Ooh, is women, might, women, history, women, women history empowered empowerment right there. Talk about women, yeah. women empowerment right there. Set it all. Put that Cleo up in there. Quay yeah. Latifah got hit about hundred rounds. I think I think Jesus got that round of the robbery movies. Set it off went crazy. Yeah, I don't know if I I don't know Set if I can top that man. I mean I know you know a little older Dead president. Couple which one? Dead, Dead president. Uh, Dead president. The, I, Look, to me, their president isn't a heist movie because the heist scene is like all of 50 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, they spend more time in the beginning in Vietnam than they did doing the actual heist. But uh, I, can, I can see their presidents. I can see their presidents. It's not better than set it off, but it's, eh, it's up there. It's up there. I, I know it's not a movie. movie. But, yo, yeah. Money Heist was, was a hell of a, a, hell of a, a robbery uh, joint. Money Heist on Netflix. Yeah, I ain't finished oh. it, but it did start off strong. I it didn't it didn't it didn't keep me drawn in, but it, it those first few episodes was they was pretty lit. It gets even Tokyo better after that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you I, ain't I, seen yeah, Money I, Heist, man, watch it. That's a good one, man. Spanish Heist flick. What are they what are they robbing the first the first season? They robbing the with the mint, the Spanish the mint. mint. Yep. No, nah, that's a good one if you ain't seen it. That's, if you have nothing else to watch, I do suggest that one, man. 
That's a good Shorty one. Ni- Nairobi, that's my favorite character. She was a G. Nah, no, I'm about- what- nah go ahead, T. Nah, go ahead, Rice. Nah, go ahead. Now I was just gonna say, man, I I think this I think this round robin uh this round robin segment is here to stay, man. I like how it goes. I feel like there's a lot of different ways we can implement this. So if anybody is watching the round robin segment and you got some ideas for round robin down the line, throw some topics at us, man, because we definitely gonna come back. I think next time we do the round robin, we're gonna go with classic teams, man, all time classic teams from you know different eras and stuff like that. Round robin is here to stay. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it was do, cool. do we count? Is Training Day a Robin movie? Nah. Uh, no. I, I don't mean, remember. I know why. I know why. I know why you. I see why you would call it that. I see why you would call it that. But he did rob nah. the Russians, but we didn't get to see when he did it. That's yeah. a dirty cop right. movie. That's a that's a whole nother uh, uh, genre. That, that's a whole nother subgenre. Is is the dirty cop movies for real? For real. That's a good one. Okay. It might be the best dirty cop movie. There's a couple good ones though. Nah, Denzel okay. was just in another dirty cop movie. It was terrible. I forgot the name of it. I think it's on HBO. Uh, the little, the little things. The little things. Don't watch it. Hmm. All the little things about it are terrible. Don't, don't, don't watch it. My man Denzel got picked better roles out here, man. Just go back to Equalizer. Oh shit. Yo, random uh, another dirty cop movie that I would throw there as an honorable mention. Uh, Brooklyn's Finest. I don't know if y'all ever seen that with Don Cheadle. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Pretty good flick. I think uh, is Wesley Snipes in that too? Oh, yeah, track. man. That, and that's that's kind of my beef with uh, Coming to America too, man. I know, I know, Bryce, you mentioned it earlier. I know some people seen it. it I'm not a huge fan of the first one, but they. The one that rubbed me the wrong way. I just finished watching uh, Wesley Snipes on a uh, White Man Can't Jump. New Jack City. He's one of the most underrated actors of all time. Him and Woody Harrelson. But, bro, they had my man uh, Wesley Snipes looking so silly, man. Dancing around. Tiana Taylor, his daughter. Like, it was, I don't know, man. That, that Coming to America 2 looked like a B movie to me. I will say, go out there and see his support, man. It was a lot of black people, but it looked like a B movie. It looked like. It looked like straight to VHS. If you're from my era, you know what that means, man. If that thing goes straight to Blockbuster, you you know what it means. You know what you know what you're getting yourself into. That's the one you turn on. You you you're not turning it on to finish it. You know what I'm saying? That's the perfect. It's an Amazon and chill. <laughs> like, Bruh. Bruh. I agree. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard a lot of bad things. But um, dang, yeah, that's it. Had its moments, but you know what I'm saying. Judge for yourself, though. Judge for yourself. I think a lot of people might like it. If they love the first one, I can see you liking this one. But I didn't love the first one, so. Bro, T, you cool. said New Jack City, bro. And I just, like, I, I, I ain't trying to drag this joint. But, yo, that, I love drug dealer movies, bro. And Nino Brown is, like, he might be my favorite drug dealer of all time. Well, don't like, watch Coming to America, too, because Nino in there dancing. His hair looked crazy. <laughs> that got my man looking like a fake warlord. He got an accent, like. Remember, remember Wesley for Blade. You know what I'm saying? Remember him for Nino. Don't remember him coming to America too, man. Nah, 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 man, nah I, I, I'm, I, not, I'm not really I too won't. excited to watch this movie now, man. I'm still have to watch wow. it just you know, for the culture. But man, every every single review is saying the same thing, man. Eddie Eddie Murphy's my guy, so I'm definitely gonna give it the time of day. But I'm just hoping I, you know, I'm hoping I don't turn it off midway through. 